what is going on youtube my name is vision x and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an insane thumbnail in photoshop so without further ado let's jump right into this video so the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and open up Photoshop. You guys want to create a new document that has these presets. So just go ahead and make sure the width is 1920, the height is 1080. You want to make sure resolution is uh, around 300. You guys could put it whatever you want. I say keeping this low if you have a bad computer. And just go ahead and set the background to black and click OK and you guys will get this. Once you guys have this, you guys are ready to insert the images you want to use on your thumbnail. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using these images right here. So you guys can easily go on Google Images and download whatever images you guys want on your thumbnail for whatever game that you guys are playing. Now I'm going to be using these ones. So I'm just going to drag this one onto my uh, document that I created. And I'm going to use this one as the background. So what I'm going to do is resize the image to where the girl with the sniper is not in the picture anymore. Because we already had this uh, guy right here, which we're going to use as as our character on our pictures on our thumbnail so just I'm gonna do control T control T and make sure you guys hold shift whenever you're resizing so just go ahead and hold shift and zoom it in I'm just gonna zoom it in to where she's not uh, in the picture anymore and that right there looks really nice just go ahead and click the check mark once you guys are done and once you guys have this now we can go ahead and bring this guy into the uh, background so I'm just gonna drag him over onto this picture right here and I'm going to resize him so he fits perfectly so just go ahead and do control T remember to hold shift whenever you guys are re uh, resizing stuff that is really important it keeps the picture in proportion just go ahead and hold shift always and this right here looks really nice I'm gonna keep it to about right here and that looks really nice let's go ahead and bring him over right here you guys can obviously play around with this spend more time to make it even look better so I'm just gonna leave it at that click the check mark when I'm done and what we can start doing now is adding some text to the uh, to the picture so just go ahead and grab your text tool right here and I'm going to be using a font called big noodle titling this one is a pretty good uh, font to use on thumbnails so I'm just gonna be using this and I'm going to type thumbnail and then once I've done that, I'm going to click the check mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to do control J. Once I've done that, I'm going to drag the one that I've du duplicated under. And I'm going to highlight it with my text tool and type tutorial. Once you guys have done that, you just go ahead and click the check mark. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, resize this. So it kind of looks a little bit more uh, fitted into the picture. So I'm just going to resize it a little bit to about right here that looks really nice and I'm going to make the bottom one a little bit bigger go ahead and click control T remember to hold shift whenever you guys are resizing anything in Photoshop it is really uh, important that you guys do that so I'm just gonna leave it at that right there that looks really nice click the check mark I'm gonna bring this over a little bit obviously you guys could spend a little bit more time on this to make it even perfect -er. And if you guys are creating your thumbnail, just go ahead and spend more time. You guys will get better results. Let's go ahead and click Control T. I'm going to resize this one down a little bit more and then bring it over a little bit more to this side. And sh there we go. That looks really nice. Go ahead and zoom out. That looks really nice. So what I'm going to do to make the text look even a little bit more better, I'm going to go ahead and add some layer styles. And if you guys want layer styles, all you got to do is just go ahead and go on YouTube and type in layer style pack. And you'll get a bunch of layer styles like these one right here. These are the main ones that I use so I just have these downloaded just go ahead go on YouTube and download them they are they are really easy to get and download just go ahead and download them so for this video I'm gonna be using these orange layer style so I'm gonna put the orange layer style on the top font and I'm gonna use the uh, white layer style on the tutorial just go ahead and put that and what I'm gonna do as you guys can see there's it looks like there's a too 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 much uh blending option uh, uh, I wouldn't say blending option drop shadow on the bottom the tutorial text so I'm just going to uh, turn it down a little bit go ahead click blending options and I'm going to go on drop shadow I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more because it looks like there's a little bit too much I'm gonna turn it down to about right there that looks nice and then right there looks really nice so you guys can obviously play around with it to make it look better you know some some of the uh, gradient uh, layer style that you guys don't load you won't have to do this but I just didn't like how that one looks so you know I just uh, changed it up a little bit so once you guys have done this you know what I'm going to do is add the next picture to the uh, to the thumbnail so it's gonna be the Fortnite uh, logo I'm gonna do control T resize it down a little bit more you know I'm going to put it in the little corner up here so just go ahead and turn it a little bit you know kind of fix it up there to where it looks really nice and that looks pretty good if you guys ask me and what are we gonna do to the uh, 
the Fortnite logo is I'm going to add a blending option so I'm just going to right click click on blending option I'm gonna give it a drop shadow and that that's that is all it really needs you don't have to do too much to this I'm gonna leave it at that right there like it looks really nice I'm going to click OK and that right there looks really nice as you guys can see the thumbnail looks pretty good so far but there's uh, plenty of stuff we can do to even make it look better and what I'm going to do is add some CC's to even make the background look a little bit more better because right now it does look good but some CC's will just make it look better so the first thing I'm going to add is some color balance so just go ahead and find color balance right here just go to adjustments right here and find color balance and what I'm going to do is put these to like negative five and I'm gonna put the other one right here to like around negative six I would say you know, just keep just play around with it and make sure it fits to whatever you guys like just looks what looks good on your thumbnail and then just kind of uh, make sure you use it so I'm gonna put that to negative six and negative five and put this one to like around let's see uh to around four or five that looks really nice right there and then we're going to add a different uh, adjustment so just go ahead and find exposure we're gonna add some exposure to the picture we're gonna put this to around 22 I would say just go ahead and play around with it you know whatever looks good on your picture that's the one you should stay with I'm gonna put that to 22 and we'll turn this up to around one a uh, hundred and something let's bring it down to around 125 I would say and then we're gonna put this one right here to around 80 something so just to around 80 90 something like that and that looks really nice I know it doesn't seem like you, you can see it on the picture right now but trust me it's there and it's making it it's gonna make the picture look a whole lot different so we're just gonna add some curves right here once so you when you guys are adding curves just make a little s shape and that will make a pretty nice color correction so that right there looks really nice just kind of make a little tiny s as you guys can see I'm slanting it a little bit slanting it a little bit and it looks really nice so the next one I'm gonna add is some brightness and contrast just go ahead and click on brightness and contrast I'm gonna put this one to around uh, negative two I would say you know remember you guys can play around you guys don't obviously have to copy everything I do just go ahead and kind of you know put whatever you guys like I would say and that right there looks really nice so I'm gonna leave it at that and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to group these so I'm gonna hold shift and then click on the bottom one and uh, select all of them and do control uh, not control E actually edit step backwards if you guys make a mistake just do edit step backwards and it will undo whatever you just do so I'm just gonna hold shift and I'm gonna do control G and that will group them and as you guys can see if I hide this layer right now it just looks terrible so with the color correction it looks way a lot better so just go ahead and add the color correction they just always make your thumbnail look better and if we want we can add some more as well or you can duplicate this uh this group right here so just do control j and it'll make it look even better that right there looks better when it, it's duplicated and you can lower the opacity if it's too much but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a little bit more so i'm just going to add another uh, I'm gonna add another color balance. So I'm just gonna go back uh, to adjustments. I'm gonna add another color balance. I'm gonna put this one to around negative 16. So just put it, just kind of put it uh, to around. Like I said, you guys don't have to obviously copy me. You guys could just play around with it and make sure you know it is what you guys want. So I'm just gonna put this to around, I would say 18. That looks really nice. And I'm gonna add another uh, curve. You know we could add some curves I'm gonna add a exposure actually and I'm gonna put this to like 22 I would say you know let's see 22 looks really nice and then I'm gonna put the bottom one to like you know put it back to like 125 there we go that looks really nice I'm gonna put the other one to around 92 I would say that looks pretty nice if you guys ask me and then we're gonna add another some other curves we're just gonna do the same thing with the curves uh, actually that was exposure so we're gonna add another curve so just go ahead and add this right here remember to just create a little s shape and that looks really nice right there if you guys ask me and that looks pretty good next thing we're gonna add is some more brightness and contrast so just go ahead and put this to like I would say let's see uh, 20 something or 30 something 30 something should be fine or we can actually put it to a uh, negative 12 this looks pretty good so I'm just gonna leave it right here like I said if you guys play around it you're gonna find something that you like so just play around with it until you see something that looks good on your thumbnail and then you can leave it right there so this right here looks pretty good I'm gonna leave it at this I'm gonna do control hold shift and then click on the one select all of them and then I'm gonna do control G again to group these and as you guys can see these are some pretty good color corrections you know they look really nice and yeah so what we can do now uh, the next thing we can do is uh, add the last uh, picture to the image which is these little, little light these little lights 
yeah and just kind of make sure they are under the uh the uh color corrections make sure they're under and just kind of resize it up a bit make sure it's kind of centered with the text i'm gonna do Control t and then just kind of bring it up a little bit it just kind of adds a little bit more attention to the text it just looks really nice if you guys ask me i would say turn down the opacity to around uh 40 percent that looks really nice 45 40 to where it looks like it's there but it's not there where you can't see it that much and that looks really good if you guys ask me so i'm gonna leave it at around uh i would say 40 percent and that looks really nice i'm gonna kind of you know move it around a little bit more so it kind of fits into the uh center the text a little bit more to about right there looks really nice if you guys ask me click the check mark and that is it you know if you guys want to really go overboard you guys can go ahead and click on the uh egg guy right here just do control j and what that will do it will duplicate that character you want to click on the bottom one the one that's under and just do a go ahead and do control t we're going to resize this up so it's a little bit bigger than the first one so just resize it up a bit you know it looks pretty stupid now but it's a pretty good feature to add on your thumbnails or make them look really nice so just go ahead and resize it up to where it's like under there i would say bring it down a bit too you know to right there looks really nice just go ahead and play around with it and then what i'm going to do is click the check mark once i'm done i'm going to lower the opacity of this one right here it's going to give it it's going to give it a nice 3d effect as you guys can see right there you can bring it down a little bit more just go ahead and play around with it and make sure it is what you like so go ahead i'm gonna leave the opacity to around 20 percent i would say put it at uh 2019 that looks really nice i'm gonna do Control t i'm going to uh resize it down a little bit so go back on this you know click right here kind of just resize it down a little bit to where it's it sits there perfectly and that right there looks really nice click the check mark once you guys are done and as you guys can see you got yourself a pretty good thumbnail right here if you guys like asking me it looks really nice and what you guys can do to even make it look better is you guys want to just go ahead and group everything so just go ahead and click on the top one click on hold shift and then click on the bottom one and then do control e and that will merge everything together and what you guys want to do is just grab this tool right here and just go ahead and drag it over the thumbnail right click layer via copy go ahead and delete that one and you guys want to do right click blending options and then you want to go ahead where it says inner glow once you guys are here you want to make sure this is set to overlay turn the opacity all the way up make sure this is set to white the color and then we can turn the choke up to about i would say uh 87 to like 80 something and then turn this to around 20 something you guys see what it does to the picture so just go ahead and play around with it and make sure you like what you see just go ahead and do that 19 looks really good and as you guys can see it adds a nice little border around the thumbnail and that looks really nice if you guys like this thumbnail, go ahead and smash a like on this video. You know, pretty easy and simple tutorial. So that's going to be it for this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I will catch you guys in my next video.